On Friday, Zimbabwe took a significant step in its economic journey. It announced the launch of a new currency, the Zimbabwe Gold, which is backed by a basket of foreign currency and gold. This comes after uh, rather amid soaring inflation and a long-standing struggle to stabilize the Zimbabwean economy. Central Bank Governor John Mushaya Banu revealed the details of this transformative initiative in a press conference held in the capital city of Harare. Let's delve into the implications and intricacies of this decision with the CEO of Sugar Creek Wealth, Gerald Mwandiambira. Gerald, a very good morning and thank you so much for joining us. Always a pleasure and good morning to all your viewers. Gerald, let's go straight to that. I mean, in, in the bigger scheme of things, to an ordinary Zimbabwean, what does this move mean? Look, I think to most ordinary Zimbabweans, it's, it's just another currency um, because most ordinary Zimbabweans don't use the local currency in circulation. And I think it speaks to what the central bank needs to achieve, which is to gain, bring back confidence in, firstly, the central bank themselves and obviously the government that backs them. And until, for example, the government itself uses the local currency as its sole um, currency, it's, 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 it's another measure to simply, you know, prevent um, the look of hyperinflation by having, for example, the $100 trillion note, which they had a few years ago, which now ironically is worth about $300 US dollars because sure. they're now ready to get. But in reality... Does this mean anything fundamentally on the ground? No. Um, I think until trust is re-established between the central bank, the government, and the people, um, it's another currency attempt. How does this then help in stimulating and improving the economy of Zimbabwe, if in any way whatsoever? Look, when you're using your own currency, it's cheaper to run your economy mm. as opposed to using someone else's currency. So it's very important to normalize that situation as soon as possible. Um, but I think, you know, the central bank has had several false starts and many announcements, many changes over the years, um, which have eroded its credibility in terms of being able to sustain a currency. So I think the central bank needs to A, prove that they can um, sustain the currency, and B, um, they're saying this currency is gold-backed with a basket of currencies. And I think, you know, just from the outset, some of the optics were wrong. Um, they're saying they have 2.5 tons of gold. And the picture with the president had 40 gold bars, and I did the calculation. Um, that was basically about 300 kgs of gold or 200 kgs of gold. They could have had all 2.5 tons in one room with him in the vault, and already the optics changed mm. the confidence in the situation. But what they had was a, a small shelf of gold, and they're announcing that they have a lot. And to me, when you are an institution that is suffering from... Uh, a trust deficit, you should be going all out to have the optics to look that you're back in business and everyone can trust you. The positive, however, is that, look, um, the Zimbabwean economy and Zimbabweans have been resilient. Regardless of what announcements have come through, they seem to pull through. So that, I think, is the positive in terms of um, the long-term outlook. You, you, you touched on a very important point in that this is not the first time Zimbabwe is trying to uh, introduce or tr a, a new currency of sorts or try to stimulate the economy by creating, uh, uh, printing money, if I could use that phrase. But what makes the ZIG different? Is it the fact that it's uh, gold-backed, as, as uh, they've said, and also backed by a number of other currencies? Look, that, that is the most important difference in that they are saying that it is gold-backed with a basket of currencies. Remember, the confidence in the local currency has to spread to the region and eventually outside Zim. So let's first see if the regional trading partners accept this currency because um, for a long time the, the neighboring states have not even recognized um, Zimbabwean currency as tradable in their territories. And that's the kind of confidence which the central bank needs to build where it starts internally within Zimbabwe and then it um, infiltrates neighboring states, and then globally you can have a currency which people can actually trust and have confidence in, something which hasn't been there for at least 10 to 15 years. From, from, uh, from an ordinary citizen's perspective, I, I sort of understand the, uh, I guess, the reluctance in terms of uh, saying, well, we'll see whether this works or not. But how has business in Zimbabwe reacted to this? Look, obviously not being there, I can't comment on, on the local environment there. 
But I think, you know, the business confidence um, is directly proportional to the, the, the state of the economy. So I think, you know, if the banks have confidence in the currency, then it will obviously go to the banking clients, which is commercial businesses, and then that will obviously um, improve the situation immediately. Um, whether it's been accepted or there's confidence, I'm not sure. I'm not on the ground, but mm. um, obviously we have to be optimistic that because there is something backing it, um, there, there could be potential. However, uh, a message to the central bank, the optics are wrong. Show us the money. Show us the gold. Let us believe it's there, and then we can actually do business and trust that currency. And the government still said that the U.S. dollar remains legal tender. And until people see that there is definitely something behind this currency, I don't see the situation changing in the, in the short term. They, 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 they also say that um, they're going to make it mandatory to, for companies to settle at least 50% of their tax obligations via the new, the new unit, uh, according to the central bank. Is that an attempt maybe to get companies to use this and, and, and maybe, again, to use the phrase stimulate the economy and force uh, uh, businesses to use this currency? Look, I don't think business has any problem using local currency. It's the government which must make it a 100% currency in their environment mm. because it's their currency. So it's a confidence issue. Remember, that's the main thing right now. If the government does not have 100% confidence in its own currency um, and is saying we'll only take 50%, that's a, that alone is showing that we are not there yet. Um, when the government is saying there's only one legal tender, 100%, we will t take it for settlement of tax. This is how we trade. Then you know that you've now got a normalized situation in terms of the currency environment. And until the government itself um, passes statutory instruments to make that company, that car currency, the only currency, we're still in a state where people are saying we're going to wait and see. And, and, and just on that, as we wind on the conversation, Gerald, uh, the, the citizens have been given uh, up until the uh, 8th uh, um, to... Uh, start phasing out that. I mean, how long do you think this process will take to, uh, to, to phase out the old Zim dollar? Uh, and also, how does it affect, in the same breath, if I may, uh, you know, the usage of the American dollar, which has been uh, quite big, especially for uh, tourists that come to Zimbabwe and the surrounding areas? Look, I don't think the American dollar or U.S. dollar usage will be affected, and I don't think there was that much local currency um, to be mopped up because the U.S. dollar, to most people who have been to Zimbabwe, know that that's the, the currency which is widely accepted. Mm -hmm. So 21 days should be sufficient to mop up a lot of the liquidity that's on the market. Um, and look, we, we can only say that the Zimbabwean economy and Zimbabwean people have been resilient. And regardless what currency they use, they seem to get by and things are moving and things are showing um, some shoots of growth. We need to see infrastructure development and the government trusting its own currency, and then that will filter into business as well as, as people, because it's easy to issue a directive, but it's uh, much harder to walk the talk. Gerald, thank you so much uh, for coming through to talk to us this morning. I appreciate uh, your time. Uh, CEO of uh, Sugar Creek Wealth, uh, Gerald Mwandiambira, just talking to us there as uh, we look at uh, uh, the uh, introduction of uh, the new currency in Zimbabwe, the ZIC, as it is called, Zimbabwe Gold.